Welcome to SciSide Talks. My name is Jason Kirchie. I'm with CyberSites, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Facebook, um, specifically how to upload a photo and how to create an album. So let's get started. Let me go back to Firefox and open up a new window. And I'm going to come up here. Now, you may be using a PC. I use a Mac. You may be using Internet Explorer. I use Firefox. They're all just Internet browsers. It doesn't make a difference. It all gets the job done. So I'm just going to type in Facebook.com slash there it is, Lake Town Wharf. Lake Town Wharf is one of the social media customers in which I manage their Facebook page. I'm just going to use them as an example because it's very simple to go there and I have some photos that I want to upload to their page. And so I'm sure you're very familiar with the Facebook fan page layout. If you're not, there's another tutorial video that we're going to show you, um, that we're going to walk you through everything and how everything works. But here's where the status update is. And this is where you'd normally post a message and then you have four icons right below it. You've got the link icon, the photos icon, the event icon, and the video icon. Today, we're going to use the photos icon. When you click on that icon, you're given three choices. Upload a photo, take a photo, or create an album. Today, we're going to create an album, but just real quick, I'm going to show you how to upload a photo. So I'm going to click on that link. I'm going to click on Browse. And from here, it's going to take me to my hard drive on my computer, and I'm going to be able to choose a picture from off of my computer. So just for kicks and giggles, I'm just going to pick this picture right here, and I'm going to click open. And all I have to do at this point is type in a message here. This is the lobby of Lake Town Wharf. And I'm going to click share. And it's just going to post that picture right here to the mainstream. And it'll also put it up in the photos. People can click on that picture. They can comment on it. They can look at the lobby, etc., etc. Very cool. So I'm going to come back here to Lake Town Wharf's profile. And I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that picture because I'm going to upload that picture as part of an album in just a second. So I'm going to click Remove Post, Remove Post again. And I'm going to come up here and click on the Photos button. And I'm going to click on Create an Album. And it gives me an upload tip saying that I can multi uh, select multiple photos now by holding down the Command key. Facebook actually recently updated within the last like two months their photo uploading process. It used to be a pain in the neck. didn't work very well at all. But they made it now to where it works very, very well. I'm going to click the Select Photos button, and it's immediately going to open up a box in which I can choose the photos that I want to upload. Now, my original photos that I had of the Lake Town Wharf, you can see how I have my files all organized, my Lake Town Wharf lobby, were very huge. So I actually converted those photos into a smaller format so that I can just select them all. Now, there's two ways to select. Like the dialog box said a second ago, you can select one and then hold down the command button and choose individual pictures and select them all. Or you can click the top one hold down the shift key and go all the way down to the bottom. Now, I should note at this particular time that I use a Mac, like I said a second ago, and if you use a PC, instead of hitting command and clicking, you would hit control and click. Um, between a Mac and a PC, a Mac, you, do, you typically your keyboard shortcuts include command and then a, like a letter or whatever. On a PC, instead of command, it's control. So it's the exact same stuff but it's control instead of command. And so like I said, I just hit the top picture, held down the shift key, hit the bottom picture, and it selected all of them. At this point, I'm going to hit open, and it's going to upload the photos. Now, before it gets too far into it, I'm going to go ahead and click high resolution. I like high resolution because I love uploading large photos. I love when I'm on a Facebook page or on a Flickr page or something, and I've got good high resolution pictures that I can look at. I really like that. So I clicked on high resolution and I need to add a name of the album. Now I'm really, really picky on how I like to name my albums. I like them all to be um, similarly structured. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go to facebook.com slash Lake Town Wharf. And I'm actually going to look at a different photo album and I'm going to copy I'm going to copy the structure the way that is. So I'm going to click on that album and I'm going to copy this name right here and I'm just going to paste it in over here under the name. Now I'm just hitting um, command C and co to, to copy and command V to paste. For you if you're a PC it might be control C control V. Um, now I'm actually going to delete the one bedroom condo portion of it and I'm going to put in Lake Town Wharf Lobby 
location is going to be the same as the other one. Triple click to select all, Command C or Control C to copy, come over here to this tab, Command V or Control V to paste, and that's it. So I've got my photos are uploaded, I've got my name of my album, I've got my location, high resolution, and I'm going to create an album. Now, depending on your internet speed, you may not want to do high resolution photos too, and you also might want to be sure that your photos are not too big. For example, I have a, a Canon 7D that shoots 5,000 wide pixel um, pictures, and those files sometimes up, up uh, size sized in upwards of around 10 megabytes, which is actually really huge. So you never want to upload 10 meg pictures to the internet. That just would take forever. Um, and so at this point, you have the option to put in captions for each picture. I'm not going to, to save time, but I highly recommend that you do. It's a great opportunity to plug in some keyword rich content and help you be a little bit more easy to find on Facebook if people are searching for whatever you have to say. What I am going to do though, is go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the edit info button. It's going to ask me if I want to publish. I'm going to go ahead and hit publish because that's fine. And then I'm going to hit the edit info button again. And I'm going to actually paste in some uh, a description that I've already written that's filled with keywords as well. Again, you always want to put as many good keywords in this stuff as possible. So I've got my album name, my location, my description, and I'm just going to hit save changes. And that's it. At this point, I can look at the album and I can actually reorder these pictures. I can change the order uh, in which you see some of these pictures to make it a little bit more, to make the flow a little bit better. Um, and that's all there is to it. If you come back over here to the Lake Town Wharf stream, you can see the pictures are right here. And you can view individual pictures by clicking on the picture. And you can hit next button, previous button to browse the pictures. And that's it. That's all there is to it.